have you here. Any of my read players, you need to be really, really careful how you put your read on. Now, don't make fun of my little broken read. Now, I have what's called an H ligature, okay? It makes a little H. What you need to understand is the ligature, re ligature screws always go on the right-hand side, okay, the right-hand side of the clarinet. No matter how your ligature is built, you, we always adjust it from the right-hand side, okay? Now, when you're putting that reed on, do not let... I'm sorry, there it is. Now, ah, there we go. If you can see, the reed is above the uh, mouthpiece. Not good. There it is. If you can see, there I go. If you can see, I can actually see black over the top of the reed. That's too low. Oh, there it is. Now, what you'll see is I just about got it dead even. Okay. So you can barely see any tip of the reed, and you cannot see any. Sorry, make sure you can see it black. That's the most important thing right now. Getting this reed right. No puffy face. No. Nope. Okay. My flute players, you must, must, must keep the lip plate in your chin. You've got to keep your left hand index finger against the flute. It's got to stay against the flute. The other thing you must be aware of, on E flat and D, E flat and D, the first finger must go up. Do, 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 do. Don't leave it down. You must let it go up on the E flat and the D. It's a painful coordination. D to C, as I said before, is also a painful coordination because you're moving every finger. So then that's just for the flute players trying to control this thing. Um, next, trumpet. You were making really good progress the last time I heard you, but just keep, <coughs> excuse me, just keep in mind air. So you're blowing, don't worry so much about the buzz and then bring the instrument to you. Another thing that you could do is start blowing through the instrument. Doesn't always work. What you should be seeing is when it works for me, the jaw actually moves up so my bottom lip comes into contact with my upper lip. All the control about any playing of any instrument is from the bottom lip because you can only move your bottom jaw. This doesn't move. All right. Does that make sense? So, that's the tonguing lesson. Next week, as I said, we'll be looking at